Hey you guys, welcome back. Today I'm here and I'm going to try to get wires back to those two boxes on the ceiling that I talked about at the end of the last vlog. I have a couple of quick updates to show you before I start with that. I have taken down the strato fan. I did that when I had a few minutes the other day. And then I also took down the fluorescent wrap fixture that was here at the bottom of the stairs. The light here right now is just the one that came out of the master bedroom during the remodel. I saved it in case I needed any sort of temporary fixture down here, which I did in this case. I wanted to get the fluorescent light out of the way because I never planned on keeping it. I want to hopefully do some sort of cool light fixture here in the long run. But for now, I just needed something to put here. I basically wanted to get that fluorescent light out of the way so that I'm not battling with the blades of nearby fans. It was just much easier to take down now so I went ahead with that. So I'm gonna go run these two wires and then I'll get back with you when I'm ready to hang fans. Alright these wires are in and I've chosen my fans so I'm gonna get them put up. All right, so these two fans are going to wrap it up for me right now. I'm hoping we're going to miss the next fan over here. It's looking a little bit close, but I guess if it does end up too close, I'll just swap this one out if I have to. So that's going to be it for now. Next, I'm probably going to be working on the switching for what I have up so far. So I will see you soon for more. All right, you guys, so I have some updates for you. I'm basically completely done on the back side of this wall. I have my two disconnects up, and currently the wires just run down to the other end where the other switches will go. So basically what's next for back here is I'm going to clean up a little bit, and then I'll come down. I'll have to clear off this shelf completely. I will disassemble it and then move it down next to this shelf. That will allow me the access I need to the wall like I have here down on the other end. I still have to put switches and controls in on the other side of this wall. I have not done that part yet, and I won't have power to these right away because I'm going to be feeding it from the other end. But really, we're moving along quite nicely now. I didn't record any of this work today. I really just wanted to move along quickly and efficiently. So I just wanted to show you now where I got with today's work, and I will see you soon. I have switches and wall controls in place. I've just been working over here a little bit this afternoon and wanted to show you that I'm pretty much done on this end now. Really just a quick small update. Now I'm gonna have to shuffle some things around and next time you see me I'll probably be down working on the other end. Hey you guys I'm just working here a little bit tonight. I do have one kind of update to show you. As I've had a few minutes here and there I've been hanging up more of my framed memorabilia and magazine adverts. It's been kind of hanging a few at a time so it was nothing that I could really set up and record. So over on this wall I added the hunter piece that I made. Turning around from there my Casablanca clock is above this sconce and then here in the center we really have kind of a Casablanca feature wall. Everything in this section is Casablanca related and then below that I kind of have just a little bit of a display table set up. I didn't have much of a plan here but when I set up things like this it kind of prevents me stacking other things 
in this spot, which is good because right now I have so many stacks of things, I do not need another one piling up here. So from there beyond that, on this other side, I just have one hunter advert right now. I do have more to hang, but this made a significant dent in the pile of things that I've had laying around. Now though I'm working on getting wiring out to more boxes on the display, I already have this one done, and right now I'm in the process of getting this one in. So I just wanted to check in while I'm here now. I probably won't check in again tonight, and I'll update you next time I'm here on how far I got. Hey you guys, I'm back. It's been a few days again. Once again, I've just been doing a little bit at a time as I've had spare time. So first of all, I'll get you back up to speed. I got wire run to all five of these boxes, and on this one I got my Duplo up. This is a fan I definitely wanted on the display, so I wanted to get it up before I forgot to implement it. Over here on the other side, I've started implementing my disconnects up on the ceiling. All of the other wires are just hanging down, and that's pretty much the gist of where I'm at here. So I'm probably going to do a couple of things. I want to decide what fans I'm going to hang on the remaining boxes out here for now, and we can probably get those hung up. And then I also want to do the home run to the panel. I don't know that we're going to get hooked up to power right away, but I do want to have it run and out of the way. All right, so you guys saw the Hunter Type 52 go up, and now I just put up my Antique Brass Islander with the small blades. I didn't record putting this one up because I threw it together on the floor, so there wasn't much to see in getting it up on the ceiling. So now I'm down to just these two spots to finish up for now. All right, so the last two for now are in place. This Fasco decorator works perfectly here since I went kind of on the larger size with the surrounding fans. It's the perfect size to fit in here. It does look like a 52 inch fan would fit here though, so that's good to know. I was a little concerned about that spacing before. And as far as the Saturn goes, I really wanted to put up an IntelliTouch fan, and I feel like I got a lot of requests for at least a contemporary Casablanca fan, and I think a few of those were specifically for a Saturn. So I combined what I wanted with what was requested, and now you can really start to get a sense of what the full display is going to look like. I'm getting eager to power this up. Obviously I have one more location to deal with over here, and I have to run permanent wiring to both of these boxes. I think the heat fan will probably stay in at least one of these two locations, but I will decide that for sure when I move over to work on that stuff. So in the back here I've started my home run 
on back to the panel. It's really almost done with what I want to accomplish for now. I really just have to go back and strap everything up. So with that, I'm going to wrap it up for now. Next, I think I'll be back to cut holes in the wall, so I will see you then. I'm back to finish cutting holes for the switch boxes. Last night, my parents were out, so I did start. I got these two cut, and over here I got one cut out, but then they got home, so I quit for last night. They're out again tonight, so I'm going to get the last four cut. I've got these ones finished off. This should conclude my cutting for now. So now with this part out of the way, it's just a little bit of assembly left, and then we can power up the next section of the display. So I'll be back as I continue to make progress on this. So I've been making some progress here. I'm not going to have time to finish this end tonight, but I do have the boxes in the wall. Here on the other side, I have pretty much all the wires run down. So it's really just stripping them back, stuffing them in the boxes, and then making up the boxes to finish this off. Up above I have my disconnects in and that means that power is fed all the way down to the other end now. So for now I can just leave these ones off and earlier I got my breaker put into the panel. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. Hopefully nothing blows up. Looking good. Now we'll go down and turn these disconnects on and see if anything works. So I guess let's just try the ones on the wall controls first. I guess the Raphael is on reverse. I'll have to switch that. So there's just the first three. I'm going to have to decide if I want to keep this Leslie lock on that choke control. I know I don't get very good speed range out of it, but that control was a key part of my childhood install with this fan. So I kind of wanted to use it, but seeing this low speed again kind of makes me want to swap it out. I'm going to grab something to stand on and then we'll swap that Raphael direction. Of course it's on the other side. Alright, so now I'm going to shut these ones off and then I'm going to try some of the others. I don't want to show too many of them on at a time. You're going to have to wait for the full display video for that. Okay, so I've turned on power to the Lady Delta and the SMC. Those both appear to be working fine. So now we'll try the wind and the Lancelot. I must have a dead bulb here. That's entirely possible. I'm just using from my old stockpile. Get this one going the right direction. Alright, so that's the only sample you get for now. I'm going to swap the bulb in the Panasonic and then call it a night. I will see you soon for more. I'm back with a major update. You can see from this side of the wall I'm done. And as you can see by the Saturn, I have applied power to everything on this end. So I will show you these a couple at a time. Here's the decorator. And I'll put the Saturn on too. And then here's the Islander and the Hunter behind it. And then the Duplo.
So that's the last real sneak peek you're going to see of this end. And this is really all I had for right now. I'm going to check in with you guys again once I start working on the last two locations. Hey you guys, it's been a while again since my last check-in. I've been focusing on a few other projects, so I haven't been working very much down here. But today I'm going to work towards getting the last two locations on the display completely wired in. So first I'm going to pull this heat fan down, and then we'll get started from there. So as you guys just saw, I got the fans put up on the other side. I'm pretty well tied up on this side, and I have the fans running. Again, this is going to be the only quick preview of these. I've got wall controls in. I don't have a plate for this one right now. I'll have to get one of those, but that's just a minor detail. So with that, I'm going to cut off this video, but the next video you're going to see is going to be the full display in operation. So thank you all so much for watching today, and I'll see you next time.